You could come on a drive with me in an exotic like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. Check the description for the contest rules. Who knows you might be sitting shotgun with me in a Lambo. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving these Ferrari, Lambo and both of them look gorgeous. They come to me courtesy of CL5 Automotives. Make sure to click on the pinned comment and give them a follow on Instagram. Okay, it's very distracting. Lamborghini chalai jane ho. So I think the Lambo is very distracting. We should remove that and just start alone with the Ferrari with the roof up. I am driving this, the Ferrari 458 Italia Spider. This is the convertible. Okay, get your eyes off that Huracan which is right behind. Let's concentrate on the Ferrari and just look at it. I love the design of the 458 and the 488. Yeah, they kind of look similar. It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? In fact, you have the Ferrari logo here. You have the prancing horse here as well. And uh, the bumper isn't that aerodynamic as say the 488, but still it is a gorgeous looking car straight away. Let's open the hood. Now, obviously this is a rear mid engine. So here we have storage space and you can actually keep decent amount of stuff and you get the toolkit and stuff like that over here. You get a light here as well. I think this is uh, probably for air. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know because this car makes me forget everything. It looks so freaking gorgeous. Just look at it. Obviously no insulation there. It doesn't need Need it so as you can see okay you have to push it down then it closes lights are beautiful look at the yeah amount of lights projectors drls beautiful car headlight washer as well looks absolutely stunning it looks mind-boggling just i mean i'm out of words now many of you would say that the huracan looks better well looks are subjective i love the design of this car it has been designed by pinin farina this is actually a convertible i will drop the roof in a bit so it looks so freaking gorgeous Ferrari logo here on the front fender. This is the front tire which happens to be a 235, 35, 20. In fact, the size of this disc is bigger than the size of the DC Avanti's tire and Brembo brake calipers. Obviously, they are finished in yellow. It looks so gorgeous. Look at the wheel. It is so mind bogglingly awesome. Car is extremely low and uh, the rear tire is obviously bigger this is a rear wheel drive so this happens to be a 295 35 20 again massive carbon ceramic disc you can see a lot of brake dust because i have actually been standing on the brakes <laughs> so coming to the rear now here as well you can see it looks so freaking cool and awesome you get a reverse parking camera here three exhausts now these are aftermarket exhausts don't even make me turn on the vehicle because it sounds so loud that trust me the camera will blast it is absolutely mind-bogglingly loud a lot of aerodynamics beautifully designed bumper as well and over here you obviously get the tail lights now the lights might look simple but they actually have multiple functions so if i actually use an indicator you can see the indicators inside here what a beauty what a freaking beautiful looking car let's open the engine bay now this is the heart of the matter which happens to be a naturally aspirated motor. Now you can't see everything very clearly, but obviously Ferrari's engines are also a piece of art. In terms of appearance alone, don't even get me started in terms of performance because I will be out of words. What a beautiful looking car. Mind boggling, absolutely mind boggling. But hey, let's get inside. Beautiful, everything is so amazing on this Ferrari. Okay, frameless doors, obviously. They look beautiful as well. Red treatment because it is a Ferrari. It has to have a lot of red. Ferrari written here. This is actually to open the engine bay at the rear. And uh, you get red seat belts. Now, if I just move this around, there are two buttons here. One is for the fuel lid and the other is for the hood, which is actually a storage space at the front. This is for auto park. And this is obviously for the handbrake. These are the controls for the headlights. These are the controls for this infotainment screen because it doesn't get a screen in the center console. That is actually the infotainment screen. And it does get push button start, but you have to put the key inside. Seats look beautiful. I mean, they actually hug you and you really need them to hug you because when you start driving this car it absolutely flies let's get inside right away and yeah it's quite comfortable the seats actually hug you the storage space here actually i've kept my bag there it's a small amount of storage here for small bags there's a cigarette lighter here i don't think anyone who drives a ferrari would need one because this car itself is fire and there's an ashtray here to accompany the same Meanwhile, there's space to keep stuff here. There's space to keep a mobile phone here. I kid you not, you can keep a mobile phone here. So I'll just do that. Yep. And well, the stitching here, beautiful. White stitching, double stitching actually. And it's an asymmetric dashboard because the center console looks very different. 458 Spider written here. Multiple airbags, obviously. Over here, you get a mirror. Same as the case here. Actually, you don't get a mirror here. You get space to keep stuff here. Let me close the door. And I'll show you one thing. 
to open the door you pull it like this door pockets aren't large enough you really can't keep much but there are multiple ones two on either side so you can keep stuff here as well steering feels really nice to hold it's like an f1 style steering flat bottom you have a lot of controls here esc off ct off race sport and wet there's no comfort mode in a ferrari by the way <laughs> now this is obviously for the suspension setting there's only one setting which is bumpy road yeah this is for the headlight control this is for the indicator control actually let's just turn on the vehicle put it on ignition actually there it goes and yeah let me turn off the air conditioning this is actually the air conditioning control dual zone climate control system low windshield washer fluid but still that doesn't stop me from using the windshield wipers yeah only thing is where's the water here yeah there it is so yeah water is actually coming inside as well even the wipers are a piece of art now obviously you do not get an auto dimming inside your view mirror as standard i think this is an aftermarket unit that is i believe for weight saving a lot of lights here as well okay wipers you can stop moving it's a little difficult to you know figure out how the wipers work but you get the hang of it indicators are here because this car doesn't get any stocks however you get these beautiful paddles which again seem like a piece of art now in order to control this screen over here okay so wipers will you stop yeah please stop 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 it sounds like box 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 anyways you can see these are controlled this is for the volume actually and i think something's broken off because it's kind of looking weird let's play some audio right away <laughs> Audio quality is obviously very nice, but the radio reception isn't the best right now over here. And uh, these are actually the mirror controls, like I told you earlier. So I can get into the main screen, I can get into navigation, media, phone, and whatnot. So everything is here itself, which is kind of cool and easy to operate as well. Back view and all. In fact, if I get into reverse by pressing this button, the view is actually shown here in that right screen. You know, on the left screen, also you see a lot of information right now. It's the speedometer. You can browse to that. That is actually the temperature meters for the oil as well as the engine. Actually, for the engine oil as well as the oil pressure, I believe. Meanwhile, this is the boost pressure. And yeah, you can toggle through a lot of things. You can dim this screen if you want. But I don't need to do that right now. Let me get into VDA. There's another turbo button here in the 488 because obviously it has got turbo chargers. This car does not have turbo chargers. Thank God for small mercies. You can get into trip. It'll tell you exactly what is max speed, average speed, travel distance, range, 51 kilometers. It's saying right now on three bars of fuel. Meanwhile, I can get into setup. Okay, I can get into display settings. I mean, there are a lot of things outside right now. The time is only 720 and says outside temperature is 36 degrees. That is how hot it is. So when you actually go into a major setting there, the speedometer becomes digital and goes small on the bottom right. Meanwhile, let me get into VDA. It's not available in wet and sport, which happens to be available only in race. So let's put it in race. Vehicle dynamics. So it's telling how much traction, e-differential and a lot of other parameters as well. ABS, ESC, SCM. Yeah, that's a lot of acronyms thrown in there. So I can get into a lot of telemetry data. In fact, it also shows you data which might be of interest to many of you, such as a lap timer too. Interior feels really nice. There's a launch control button. Press this button to enable launch. This is to get into reverse. If you want to select a gear, just select it on the paddles. That's how it works. This auto button, well, I'm not going to tell you what it is. You guys have to actually tell me what it is. This is the hazard light switch. These are the controls for the power windows over here in the center. This is actually to open this window here, which means that all the sound comes in through there, making it an extremely loud car. Meanwhile, let's open the roof right away. And here we go. So that is how it happens. Going up pulling back and the sunroof has now opened off the 458 it's not the sunroof it's actually the roof which has opened and there it has now become a convertible so here we put the windows down as well beautiful car the center is a tachometer with a gear position indicator right in the center air conditioning works brilliantly well and this button is actually to lift the nose of the vehicle so you can clear speed breakers without any fuss this is to actually open the glove box yeah there's a cd player there and before we get driving let me just do a quick walk around with the roof down so the roof is down car looks even sexier now just look at it a million dollars you bet yes this 458 will obviously hold its value because it's a naturally aspirated motor absolutely screamed to the red line let's quickly get inside and start driving right away okay i can't wait i i'm no for sure that you guys can't wait either let's get going right away what an interior all right we are all set to go which means yes it is freaking loud race mode and we are into first gear and off we go Acceleration it absolutely screams like a mad hole again as soon as you get onto the 
throttle. There is just so much thrust. <laughs> the aggressive downshifts. I mean, it downshifts supremely aggressive, and it is so composed around the corners. So much feel, so much feedback, but a bit over steering because there's so much power being channeled to the rear wheels of this Ferrari. Downshift. Go. Oh my god, this is absolutely sensationally mad the thrust from <laughs> I am absolutely speechless. I have nothing to say in today's video. I have absolutely nothing. Just listen to this, okay? different league all together it just accelerates it just accelerates and just does not stop accelerating redlining all the way till 9000 rpm don't believe me well check this out okay downshift 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 we are in second what a track what a soundtrack okay now this obviously is running on an aftermarket exhaust but still this 4.5 liter V8 engine is an absolute gem. It's a naturally aspirated motor. Turns out 570 horsepower and 540 newton meters of torque. And there's just so much thrust on offer. Any given moment, just get the throttle. Yeah, it has an aggressively downshift, but it doesn't need to because it has so much grunt throughout. It will just keep pulling and pulling and pulling. It pulls relentlessly. There's just so much punch on offer from this motor. Absolutely mind-boggling the way this Ferrari pulls. It's like a javelin throw and you know when it reaches 9000 rpm it is just screaming all the way what a top end absolutely lip smacking awesome top end from this motor left foot on the brake right foot on the accelerator actually let's get into launch here we are into launch Now, to be honest with you guys, like I'll be very frank with you, okay? This motor is an absolute maniac. The way it accelerates, it just, just, just pulls. And there's just so much thrust on offer all the given time. Don't you? Now, the power is obviously channeled to the rear wheels. And it does a great job of putting all that power down because in spite of this car having only rear wheel drive, naturally Ferraris are rear wheel drive, it still manages to put all that power down so beautifully, you will never ever have an issue at all. Yeah, it moves around a bit, it is on the stiffer side, but still I'd say ride quality is very compliant by supercar standards. Downshift super aggressively. This Ferrari is mind-boggling. No wonder the 458 is such a legend because naturally aspirated chubs just keeps revving and revving and revving and the way the motor revs is just mind-boggling. I mean, all the way to 9,000 RPM, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, 2.9 seconds, 0 to 200 kilometers per hour, around 9 seconds and a top speed of 325 kilometers per hour. This car keeps pulling and it pulls in such a way that, you know, forget the pulling part. Just the way it sounds is so mind-boggling. It gives you goosebumps as soon as you hit 7,000 RPM. Most cars, even supercars finish all their power at 7,000 RPM. This actually starts power delivery at 7,000 RPM because peak power of 570 horsepower is produced at 9,000 RPM. And the downshifts? Whoa! scrambling for traction that is the reason you know in first gear it's not redlining till 9000 rpm because there's not enough grip available but then it pulls to 9000 rpm in every gear the cold start of this vehicle is so freaking loud i'm cannot kidding okay trust me my relatives in canada have called me up and said guys just chill down a bit we're trying to sleep here we can hear you because that's how loud this guy is absolutely okay <laughs> It hits you hard. This Ferrari hits you so hard. Every time it goes, okay, we are at 7,000 RPM, then post 7,000 RPM. What thrust? How do they... Okay, let's 
let's talk a bit practical as well fuel economy isn't that great okay two to three kilometers per liter but forget all this fuel economy crap just hear the motor saying it is absolutely oh my god what a car guys this is the ferrari 458 italia this is the convertible the spider what an exhaust note the way it revs i mean i have nothing else to talk about the steering is so full of feel all right here we go supremely agile offers great feel and feedback and there is no body roll it just starts through corners like nobody's business weight distribution is excellent weighs around 1500 kgs but you know the highlight is the naturally aspirated motor because you can do that and that's all that matters because nothing else does it just picks up pace with so much urgency with so much thrust it can make you cry that is the level of performance on offer and right now i've been too biased towards you know ripping the motor in the top end but you know even if you drive it calmly and sanely everything is fine as well it feels very relaxed you know you can't hear much inside you can't hear anybody even the co-passenger you can't hear all you can hear is that motor singing its song and when it sings trust me it sings its song with so much thrust it's mind boggling what an engine what a ferrari this one costed around rupees 4 crores when it was launched on road mumbai and for the price you get an absolute maniac of a car i love this ferrari and if you like this video give it a thumbs up that's a like button and also subscribe to the channel i will see you guys in the next video real soon bye bye In my excitement I completely forgot to tell you that this 7 speed gearbox is supremely fast with shifts it's so fast with shifts it's unbelievable lot of fun technology in this car from its predecessor F430 to 458 for Ari has just taken leaps and bounds improvement and right now you're going to hear a lot more of the exhaust because I've just opened one of the windows here and <laughs> What sound from the motor is absolutely mind boggling <laughs> It's a rocket ship the engine I have to shout right now because I can bet you you can't hear a thing this motor is so freaking loud Now what is better than a 458 which is naturally aspirated well the 458 speciale which gets 30 more horsepower lesser weight better downforce more aerodynamics to make it even faster more f1 inspiration this gearbox is shared with the mercedes sls amg and my goodness this dual clutch unit is so quick with shift before you think about it it's already done the shifts that's how quick it is with shifts what a mind boggling car On up chips also it absolutely fires what a soundtrack i mean 9000 rpm is the stuff of dreams very few cars can do that but this ferrari does it like a boss what an engine ferrari my goodness what a motor i mean i drove the 488 yesterday but trust me this is an entirely different league altogether the 488 is faster definitely this one Like I told you earlier, it takes 3.4 seconds to go from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour. Got ya! I said it takes 2.9 seconds. Well, with the exhaust and stuff like that, it actually takes less than 3 seconds to go from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour. This car is obviously tuned, but a stock car takes almost 3.4 seconds. Actually, the convertible model is like 0.2 slower. But you know what? Let's get going once again. What is this downshift? How is it downshifting like that? sound my ears are bleeding with all gas and that is how good this car sound oh my god it's actually quite livable with as well because the handling is easy everything seems absolutely mind bogglingly surreal bye bye
not a sound 